G'day again everyone. What we're going to do today is create a strategy using an existing tool we've already created. If you needed to find out how to uh, create a tool, there is a video on that one as well. So in Easy Nest here, what we do is we start with a blank sheet or plate. We don't need to worry about our size, but we put something down. If you have the ability to draw, you can draw your required item to apply a strategy to it. If you do not, you can import a DXF. This can be found by coming to your C drive machining and getting an exported DXF from your existing Cabmaster outputs. So here we use an N left because it has both holes and it has the border lines. Now, if I'm creating a routing offset, I can either use these shortcut tools down the side here, which is the routing offset up there, or I can right click on the line and create a toolpath. Now on here what we want to do first of all is we want to grab the tool that we're going to use. So I'm going to use a three wing cutter for this one. So we've put in our tool. It is going to be a male cut because I'm intending to be on the outside of this line and we want to do sharp corners. Now I want to pick a depth that I'm thinking of designing at which is 16. So I've specified my depth. This is not necessary to set up a 16, an 18, a 25, a 33. Um, when you go through your ATP, it will change it as per Cabmaster's request, uh, but we can get into that another time. We just need to specify a particular depth we're talking about. We click on the edit and we bring up this next dialog box. This is now specifying how to use this tool. Here is our depth. We're going to be arriving at 16. Now, depending on what you want to do here with passes, some people would do a two-pass strategy with this one which we would have a final pass of about a millimetre, which is often referred to as an onion skin. So what we're looking at here is we're doing a 15 millimetres in the first pass and then we take off a final one. Before when I mentioned about depth, if you need it for 18, it's going to be 1 16th of the material is going to be left in the 18 if you used it at 18 deep because it will stretch it outwards. Now as we move on, we can also go down to the width we can do a step away for the width, but I'm not going to use a width in this one. It's the same mentality as doing this final pass. Feeds and speeds. Generally, every tool will have some different feeds and speeds. This one I'm going to make it travel at 22,000 millimeters per minute. We can actually also change the variable that we're running at. We also need to have a final speed because we are doing a final pass. We also make our plunge rate somewhere around about half or just over half of the uh, actual feed rate. And spindle speed is generally 18,000. Generally this is controlled by the machine so it's not as vital as the others. Direction, conventional climb, the differences between these two is the same difference as travelling clockwise or anti-clockwise around the part. They can create a different cut. They can also be a bit personal. Uh, as to which one to use or machine based so whichever suits just basically change between the two I'm going to leave it as conventional with the entries we tend to use a line entry we generally use about three lengths of the tool as our entry length and we are a one millimeter away angle we also use a three-dimensional sweep in so we sweep in on a 3d curvature line like I'm demonstrating with the mouse we also make that exit the same on the other exit there. And we tend to overlap by at least two tool lengths. That way we can make a crossover so it smooths out the entry and the exit so it makes it a little bit less, less easy to see on certain materials. Now we just press OK and we come back to this stage here. Now this is then when we save the strategy name. Now saving the strategy name is important. We need to know as much about this strategy as possible from the surface without being too, too much. So the fact that it's a 9.5 comp cutter is a relevant piece of information. The fact that it is the three wing version is irrelevant. We also designed it at 16 deep. If you ever change that depth to 16.1 or 18, make sure you still call it that at this point so you'd know what you designed it at. And also the fact that it's a two pass and it is a male strategy. That is an appropriate name. It tells us everything about that without being too long. You don't actually want to exceed too much longer than that anyway. So we hit save and there you can see the strategy is up there in the name. Press OK and now you'll see that that strategy is in place on that part. 
Now you'll notice some colouring differences here if I zoom in. You can see a green line coming along here, which is then part of our exit and entry of this strategy. As you can see, it's a one millimetre away. Sweeps in, goes around the part, overlaps by 20, and then exits. That then is an adequate strategy. Thank you very much for listening to that one.